Hey there, my friends. It's Jen Pitta with By the Shore Stamping. Happy Tuesday. I'm finally coming back to you with some with a Teach Me Tuesday video. I've been a little bit MIA. I apologize for that, but I'm back and I'm super excited to share with you a fun little Halloween treat box. These are the new um, coffin treat boxes that are in the holiday catalog from Stampin' Up. You can see they come in a cute little package. Um, so they're already die cut and scored and you get the bases and the tops and you get 12 in each package. So it's really cute. I think they're like seven or eight dollars. So they're in inexpensive and they'd be super fun to do for your kids or a classroom or um, co-workers. Um, I'm hoping to make a couple for some of my co-workers just because I think it's fun to leave little treats some people's desks. So that's my plan, but I figured I would show you what I did as well. So let's go ahead and move that out of the way. So here are our pieces for the coffin box. Now, um, I embossed the top of the coffin box. And actually, what I should have done first was crease these before I embossed them. Because it just makes it a little more challenging to find the scored lines after you've embossed. And it kind of flattens them out a little bit when you run it through the Big Shot. So learn from my mistakes. And... Um, fold your score lines first before you emboss. But like I said, you can still you can still do it. I have faith. It's just a little bit more challenging when you have to do it after the fact. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and this. And there we go. So that's all set. Now, before I start assembling, I actually took my Whisper White ink pad and a stamping sponge, and I inked that up. And then I just did little circles here on my um, black cardstock. It just makes it kind of look a little bit spookier, I think. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some little circles on here, get a little bit more distressed look on this okay and then I went ahead and I used my tear and tape and I'm gonna add some tear and tape to these this can be a little bit fussy but that's why I like the tear and tape because it's super easy to um, pull off here and um, you don't have to sit here with scissors and cut off tiny little pieces and all that kind of stuff. And then you could use a liquid glue too, but I feel like you'd need to be an octopus with that because, as you know, with liquid glue, you kind of have to press and hold for a minute or two. So you'd have to kind of um, do that, you know, and hold multiple parts of this. So I'm going to just use the tear and tape. The trickiest part is this little corner here. It's just a tiny little tab and so that can be a little challenging to get um, adhesive on. So I usually just do a little tiny square and I stick that on here like this and get it stuck on there and then I peel off from here and so it's kind of hanging over and I just fold it over. Just makes it a little bit stronger too and then I'm just gonna Line those edges up and press and hold. And then I'll do the other side too. Mm, where's my edge? Just a little bitty square. We'll put this on here. Like that. And pull that off. And again, I'm just going to take the excess and fold that over. And fold that over. And then attach that and press and hold and then I just have these two little tabs here so like I said this is the fussiest part of this is just getting this lid attached um, the base is a little bit easier it's not quite so small parts oh did I do that wrong I think I did I think we want it to go right here. I did too much, but that's okay. See, this is why you want to fold your 
um, score lines before you emboss because it just makes your life a little bit easier later. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to pull that off and attach that. And you know, most of the time, people are just going to jump right in and grab the candy, so they're not really going to be all that obsessed with how it's put together. Okay, so now to do the base, you can see you've got longer tabs, so it makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to just go ahead and fold these all up, and the tape is going to go on the ones that are tabs, so on these and these, this and this and this and this. So I'm going to just take this, pull a piece off, put that there, give it a nice burnish, another piece here, burnish, littler piece on this side and a littler piece on this side and here and here there we go and I'm going to pull that off And, well, sorry, I keep coming off of here. I always assemble really close to my body. I don't know if you do that, but I pull it up really super close. But that does not help you when you're trying to watch me do that. Sorry about that. I'll attach those. This part, like I said, goes together really easily. And then this part goes here. And the last one, I usually take both of these off here and tuck it in. You just have to be careful not to get it stuck to something it's not supposed to be stuck to. Um, because it is kind of super strong tape here. So let's go ahead and get that lined up. There's one. And there's two. There we go. There's your little coffin base, and here is the little cover. How cute is that, right? You could sit and assemble these in front of the TV some night. It'd be a really cute little gift for trick-or-treaters or for your kids' classmates or your co-workers or anything you want. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use this really pretty black scallop ornate um, ribbon here. I'm just going to tie a knot to keep that closed, give it a little pizzazz, and I'll trim that down a little bit, like that. And then we're going to take the Memento Black ink and the little mummy stamp from um, Spectacular Bash. Super cute, right? I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. Oh, and I didn't do Magic of TV here. Um, and my dies aren't sitting right here either, so I'm going to stamp this off to one side. And then I'm going to color. So I just colored the inside of this here, right here. And I'm just using the light Calypso Coral. It looks almost like a orange. And, sorry, I was in my head right there. I wasn't really thinking. All right, and then, or I was thinking, but I wasn't talking, I noticed. Sorry about that. All right, so, just carefully coloring this in. Not very, super carefully, but, again, I should have had one finished through the magic of TV, as I usually do. But, I didn't think that far ahead today. I just jumped here and started recording so and then i'm just using the dark daffodil delight to color the edge here and like i said i don't have the dyes handy 
so I'm going to do a hand cut on this. But there are dies that go with this. In fact, um, there's a lot of layers um, with these dies. Not a lot, but um, like this one layers with the ornate frame, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then there's some other ones too. So see how cute that is? Super fun little ornate frame. I'm going to just take some of these guys out of here. I keep doing everything off screen so you can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I'm out of practice. See what happens when I go MIA for a while? I forget how to do these things. I'll get better, I promise. I'm just getting back into the swing of it. I just had a really rough time of it this fall with strep throat and colds and traveling, and so I just got out of the, the ritual, but hopefully we're back in the game and back on track. So I'm just going to pop the rest of these out. Again, I apologize for not noticing that I hadn't done this already. I had cut this already for, this was one of the projects we did at my quarterly team training for the Shore Stampers. Um, they had a whole class of cute little treats and this was one of the ones we did. I think it's my favorite. It is a little bit fussy, but it's a fun little project to do when you're watching some TV or sitting with the family. So I'm going to just, like I said, there's dyes that go with this, but they are on the other side of the room, packed up for class. So I'm just going to cut this with my scissors. And that's always the thing too, like, it's great that we have all the bundles and we have the dyes and whatnot. Um, but sometimes it's just as easy to, easy to whip out your scissors and do that. Of course, you wouldn't get that super beautiful little ornate die that I did. And I'll show you another one that's in there. It's really cute. Um, I just love, I actually bought this. I mean, I loved the suite because I thought the little guys were super cute. But I also bought these dies because I think they're going to be really useful for not just Halloween. Um, you could really do, if you're, if you're looking at this, this die, um, obviously it's in black, it looks ominous, but if you were to do it in any other colors, you could do some really pretty, um, like wedding invitations and things. So let's go ahead. I'm going to attach this guy to the ornate frame and we'll put those down like this. And then I'll take off my dimensionals like so pop that on top of here right in the middle and I'm going to use my hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole straight through both right above his head and then I'll take some whisper white twine baker's twine here and I'm going to thread that through here and if you are coming to Tropical Getaways this weekend in Falmouth here on the Cape. I will be bending there and this is one of the projects we'll be doing in my Halloween treats class. So you'll get to play along and make one of these cuties for yourself or for someone else you like or don't like. You can put something scary in it if you want. It's funny, one of the um, projects, I'll show it to you in a second, includes little paper spiders and when we were doing the class on Sunday, one of my team members, she, um, she put her spider in the box. I'm like, oh, look, you missed your, you lost your spider. It's right here. And I put it on, on the table in front of her. And she was like, no, 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 I put it in there. I don't want to look at it. I don't even like the look of the paper ones. So, um, yeah, there, there's that too. So if you don't like spiders, you could totally leave some paper spiders in here for a coworker and scare them if you wanted, but here. So that's, um, oh, and then the last thing is to do the little trick or treat. And I, and I think we have trick or treat in here. I just wanted a thin little greeting. So I stole this one and I didn't grab another block. So I'm just gonna use the edge of this one and I'm gonna stamp it right on here. And I just trimmed it out. Oop, I missed. Let's try that again. Oh, hmm. This one's being weird. Third time's a charm. There we go. I got it. 
I don't know why I was having difficulty with that. But let's go ahead and cut this out. Um, I think I might be a little crooked, but hopefully I can even it out when I cut it here. I'm going to just trim off a little bit here and a little bit here and some banner ends here and here and actually i don't know if you saw it <laughs> whoops i just sent my scissors flying but in the holiday catalog we also have black dimensionals did you see this and it comes in a combo pack, so you get two of the regular size ones and two of the little minis. So I'll actually use these on here because it will work nicely on this black themed project. It's the same price as a regular package, I believe, of dimensionals. Oh, it might be, a, I'm not sure actually now that I say that because there is four sheets and in the normal one there's only three. So see how you get the black and now when you look on the side it's going to be black so it will blend a little bit better with the project. I'll go ahead and stick those down like that and there you have the finished one. And then so this like I said is one of the ones that will be one of the projects we'll be making in my Halloween treats class at the Tropical Getaways weekend this weekend. And then here's another one too and you can see there's that cute little spider that I told you about that my friend was like, nope, I'm going to put that in the box. I don't want to look at it. And then also, this is one of the other ornate frames that's in that die set that goes with the Spooktacular Bash. So there's a um, greeting cut out for this, and then there's um, the, the layering ones for this. There's one that cuts out that. I believe there's one or two that cut out like this size. So it's really cute. I should have it handy, but I don't. So um, I'll try and remember to share it in the email. But... Um, it's a really fun project. It's really fun, sweet. I'm really having a lot of fun with that one. And I'm not even really a big Halloween person, but it's just so stinking cute. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm super happy to be back. I hope you liked today's project. And I will be back again next week with another edition of Teach Me Tuesday. Have a great week and we'll see you soon.